The recent development of SCO drives in Elite Dangerous has been a welcome enhancement to the game's travel ecosystem. These drives represent a well-thought-out and implemented mechanic that has rendered all previous iterations of the frameshift drive obsolete. Which begs the question, what do we do with the old drives? SCO technology outperforms the previous frameshift drives on offer from Sirius Corp to such an extent that there aren't many reasons to keep using the old technology. Fully engineered, the 5A SCO drive falls just slightly short of the TechBroker 5A frameshift drive, the current most powerful drive available. There may remain some niche applications for the old stuff, but on the whole, swapping from the TechBroker drive loses a tiny amount of jump range, but gives you overcharge capability something really useful for those completionist full system scans. This pattern is repeated across the game, with a lot of commanders busily swapping out their old, fully engineered jump drives for the new SCO-enabled ones. The problem is, if you're like me, each one of those modules represents hours of material hunting, trading, engineering, and a lot of long flight hours to get everything sorted out. I almost never sell engineered modules, especially my grade 5 ones, because I don't want to blow away all that effort if there is even a chance that I can use it later. But in this case, there isn't. So then, the issue becomes what to do about it. I could sell more than 30 different jump drives, watch all that effort evaporate, or I can do what I usually do, strategically delete a few less fully engineered modules and hope that eventually the better solution comes along. Elite Dangerous needs a scrapping system to deal with all the engineered modules. Most MMO games have some kind of mechanism to break down game inventory into raw materials. Elite Dangerous lets us sell our old equipment, but once an engineer has tuned it up, it's hard to get rid of. Selling only recovers the outfitting value of the modules in credit, and does nothing to compensate commanders for all the materials and time invested in ship equipment. Odyssey suits and guns get this adjustment when we buy them, so it's even more wasteful to sell an engineered module if it can be avoided. The basics of a scrapping system in Elite Dangerous would allow commanders to strip an engineered module to recover some of the materials used in its creation. This process usually incurs some losses to prevent abuse, but on the whole, it's something most games have. Scrapping need not be available for all modules, just the ones players invest engineering materials into. It may be a long shot, but with the sheer number of frameshift drives being dumped into storage bays across the game, I have to wonder if someone at Frontier can see all modules in a database report somewhere, because I have to imagine that the number is in the millions by now. I put more than 30 old FSDs out to pasture these last few days, and I'm now staring down the prospect of needing to re-engineer my entire carrier fleet to get back up to full power. We already have a function in Outfitting that lets us remove modifications from an engineered module. This button need only be modified to give us back some of the materials attached to the engineering blueprints. My single biggest complaint about the engineering system in Elite Dangerous is that it does not respect my time. I love the new SCO drives. I think they're a great idea. Else. I would have skipped over them like I did Odyssey Suit Engineering. With the upcoming engineering rework, I have to hope that we get some scrapping mechanics, or that we start hearing about them soon. I can say with surety that being forced to sell off a bunch of Grade 5 FSDs is going to hurt like hell, and feel like such a waste. I don't know who at Frontier handles the roadmap or feature requests, but I do hope that they get this message or hear it from someone with more impact than me. That's all I have for today. Catch you all later.